Hello friends, this is slide hunt for you. To subscribe this channel, click on the subscribe button that appear at bottom right corner. Or you can visit my channel by typing www.youtube.com slash slide hunt. In this tutorial, I'm gonna tell you 10 commonly asked questions in bank, rail, SSC or any other government service exam. Question number 1. If A is to B equal to 3 is to 4 and B is to C equal to 8 is to 9, then find A is to B is to C. You have to solve this problem within 10 seconds. Can you do this? It's a very common question. If you see the previous year question paper, then of course you will find it. Let's see how to solve it. First write the given ratios. A is to B equal to 3 is to 4 and B is to C equal to 8 is to 9. Now you have to combine these two ratios into a single ratio and find A is to B is to C. To do that, first multiply these two numbers. 3 times 8 is 24. Next find which variable is common in two ratios. Here variable B is common in two ratios. In first ratio B is 4 and in second ratio B is 8. So multiply these two numbers. 4 times 8 is 32. And then multiply these two numbers. 4 times 9 is 36. Now simplify it. Divide all of these three numbers by 4. 24 divided by 4 is 6. 32 divided by 4 is 8. And 36 divided by 4 is 9. Got it? Ok, let's move to the next question. Question number 2. If A is to B equal to 1 is to 2, B is to C equal to 3 is to 4, and C is to D equal to 6 is to 9, then find A is to D. It's a very easy question, but important. Let's see how to solve it. First write the given ratios. A is to B equal to 1 is to 2. We can write this ratio as A by B equal to 1 by 2. Similarly, B by C equal to 3 by 4 and C by D equal to 6 by 9. We have to find A by D. We can write A by D equal to A by B into B by C into C by D. Because this B will cancel with this B. And this C will be cancelled with this C. And the remaining is A by D. Now put the value of these ratios. A by B equal to 1 by 2. B by C equal to 3 by 4. And C by D equal to 6 by 9. Now simplify it. Cancel this 2 with 6. 2 times 3 is 6. Now cancel this 3 with 9. 3 times 3 is 9. Now cancel this 3 with this 3. So we get 1 by 4. A by D equal to 1 by 4. So we can write it as A is to D equal to 1 is to 4. Question number 3. The speed of 3 cars are in the ratio 3 is to 4 is to 5. What is the ratio among the times taken by these cars to travel the same distance? The speed of 3 cars are given. They are in the ratio 3 is to 4 is to 5. We have to find out the ratio of time taken by the 3 cars to travel the same distance. We know speed and time taken are inversely proportional to each other. That means if speed is more, the time taken is less. And if speed is less, the time taken is more. So the ratio of time taken by the 3 cars are 1 by 3 is to 1 by 4 is to 1 by 5. Now multiply each of the fraction by the LCM of denominator. LCM of 3, 4 and 5 is 60. So the record ratio is this. Now simplify it. 3 times 20 is 60. 4 times 15 is 60. And 5 times 12 is 60. So we get 20 is to 15 is to 12. Let's move to the next question. 
question number 4. The sum of two numbers is 20 and their difference is 4. What is the ratio of two numbers? To solve this problem, we have two methods. One is traditional method and another is shortcut method. Traditional method takes more time. So we follow the shortcut method. The rule is if the sum of two numbers is A and their difference is D, then the ratio of two given number is A plus D is to A minus D. Here A is 20 and D is 4. Ratio of two numbers is 20 plus 4 is to 20 minus 4. 20 plus 4 is 24 and 20 minus 4 is 16. So we get 24 is to 16. Now divide these two numbers by 8 and we get 3 is to 2. So the ratio of two numbers is 3 is to 2. Question number 5. Divide 520 among A, B and C such that A gets two-third of B share and C gets three-fourth of A share. Find the share of each. According to the question, A gets two-third of B. So we can write A equal to two-third of B and C gets three-fourth of A. So we can write C equal to three-fourth of A. From this equation, we can get A by B equal to two by three. And from this equation, we can get C by A equal to 3 by 4. So, A is to B equal to 2 is to 3. And C is to A equal to 3 is to 4. Now, combine these two ratios and find A is to B is to C. From the first part, we get C. Common variable is A. And from the last part, we get B. So, here we find C is to A is to B. To find this, First, we multiply these two numbers. 2 times 3 is 6. Now, find the common variables. Here, you can see A is common in two ratios. In first ratio, A is 2. And in second ratio, A is 4. So, multiply these two numbers. 2 times 4 is 8. And then multiply these two numbers. 3 times 4 is 12. Now, arrange this ratio in form of A is to B is to C and we get 8 is to 12 is to 6. Now, simplify it and we get 4 is to 6 is to 3. Next, we find the share of A, B and C. A share equal to total number of rupees multiplied with ratio of A by sum of all ratios. Ratio of A is 4 and the sum of this ratio is 13. 4 plus 6 is 10, 10 plus 3 is 13. Now cancel 520 with 13 and we get 40. 40 times 4 is 160. So A share is 160. Similarly, B share is 520 into 6 by 13. Because here B share is 6, 40 times 6 is 240. And C share is 520 into 3 by 13. 40 times 3 is 120. This is it. Hope you understand. Remaining questions are in the next tutorial.